Hey, what's up? This is Dylan Rieger from sportprovement.com and in this video we're going to be going over the top 16 basketball shoes of 2018. We have Nike's, Under Armour, Adidas, we got it all. Make sure to go to sportprovement.com. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I'm not going to be going over prices because prices are always changing. Uh, in the post that's in the description, You'll see all the prices, the pictures, all the information you need to know, as well as the cheapest prices where you can buy these shoes. So make sure to click that link in the description. First up, we have my favorite shoe of the year, and it's the Nike Air Foam Posits. The main reason I love this shoe is because it's so comfortable. It literally feels like you're stepping into a cloud when they're on your feet. They also provide a ton of traction and ankle support. You'll feel nice and sturdy. Uh, when you're running up and down the court. Also, there's 30 different colors and designs, so you'll be able to get one that you like, one that matches your jersey, anything else you want. The only downside is these are very expensive, and they are the most expensive shoes on this list, so if you're looking for a budget shoe, this one is not for you. Next up, we have the LeBron 15s, and I actually have a confession to make. I'm actually not a big fan of the LeBron basketball shoes. In the past, I've just found them to be clunky looking and they just didn't seem too comfortable and they seem too heavy. Uh, I'm more of a guard, so it just didn't seem right for me. But I think Nike did a good job with these. They're, they're more lightweight. Uh, they're still great for big men, but I think if you're a shooting guard or someone that gets to the basket, you can definitely wear them too. They are extremely comfortable too. They're uh, a lot like the foam posits we just saw. They have uh, a sock-like feel to them, so it won't uh, cause your foot any pain, you won't be in discomfort or anything like that. The Max Air and Zoom Air uh, is another reason why these are so comfortable. Uh, yeah, they just did a great job. LeBron 15s are a great shoe, and I think you'll be very happy if you decide on them. Like the foam posits, though, they are expensive. They're not quite as expensive, but these are by no means a cheap basketball shoe. Next up, we have the Steph Curry 4s, and it's fitting they be right after LeBron's since those two are always in competition with each other. It uh, makes sense that their shoes would also be in competition with each other. This shouldn't come as a surprise, but uh, these shoes are great for guards, point guard, shooting guard. So if you're either one of those, you'll really like how these perform on the court and how they help you play out there. One aspect they do really, really good in is uh, ankle support. And if you know anything about Steph Curry, you know he suffered from ankle injuries early in his career. In fact, they were so bad, some people thought it would, uh, it might even cut his career short like it did with Grant Hill and his ankle injuries. So, you know, if Steph Curry's wearing these shoes, you know they're good for your ankles. They'll be protected if you put these on. Another feature that I like a lot is the Ortholite sock liner, and uh, that makes these shoes very comfortable to wear, just like the two previous you've already seen. You also get the herringbone traction with these shoes, and that helps you from sliding all over the place. You'll be very confident when you go to make your cuts. The Kyrie 4s are up next, and just like Kyrie is a basketball player, I think these shoes are very underrated. Uh, I think everyone should consider these, and this is especially true if you're a point guard or a shooting guard. This doesn't really have to do anything with performance, but I really do think these are one of the best looking basketball shoes on the market. Uh, everyone I know that wears them gets compliments, so if you want a couple compliments this year, you should definitely think about uh, buying these. Like the Curry 4s, you get uh, herringbone traction, and uh, this is definitely good if you're a quick player and you uh, depend on quick cuts and stuff like that. You'll You'll stay on your feet and you won't be sliding all over the place. The TPU skin uh, improves airflow, which is good. Your feet won't overheat, they won't sweat too much. Uh, it also makes it so they don't smell too bad at the end of the season. Having good airflow uh, helps you prevent blisters too. And if you ever had a blister on your foot when trying to play basketball, you know how much that sucks. Lastly, you get the Hyperfuse construction, and this really helps out with ankle protection, and it keeps your heels locked in place. This is another reason why these shoes are just great for anyone that does cuts, and, and if you've ever had ankle injuries, then I would definitely think about this shoe too. The price isn't all that bad either. They're not as expensive as the LeBron 15s or the 
the foam posits, but you know, they're not cheap. They're going to cost over a hundred, but they're not going to cost, you know, 175 or 200. Next up, we have the Nike Hyper Dunks, and these are one of my favorite basketball shoes of all time. These are the, the shoes that I balled in when I was in high school. Uh, me and my uh, whole team bought the Hyper Dunks, and we went on to have one of the best seasons in our school's history. We had the state's longest winning streak at 17 games, and, you know, obviously we practice hard, but I like to think the shoes had. Uh, had something to do with it. They were just so comfortable and performed so well. I can honestly say that myself and uh, my teammates and my friends, none of us ever had an issue with these shoes or anything like that. No complaints. The ankle support is really good. You uh, you feel confident making cuts. You feel confident going to the basket. You don't, you don't feel like your ankle is going to roll or anything like that. They're also extremely lightweight. Uh, you're going to feel quick in them. You're, it honestly feels like you're not wearing shoes at all. They just they mold to your foot perfectly. They feel great. You get Nike React cushioning too, and this uh, it feels feels good. Just like every other feature, it, uh, it benefits the overall comfort, and you'll feel very confident with these on your feet. The price isn't terrible either. Uh, you know, they're not going to cost you 50 bucks, but, you know, they're not going to break the bank and cost you 200 either. So I think they're a great deal. If you're looking for a, a good mixture of performance, comfort, uh, and pretty budget friendly, I'd say definitely pick this shoe. So far, uh, the basketball shoes that you've seen are pretty well known. And now it's time to look at one that's not as well known, and that's the Under Armour Fire Shots. I added this shoe because uh, they're not really expensive. They're under $100, and not everyone's looking to spend $100 or $150 or $200. So anyone that w doesn't want to spend that much, these are a good shoe for you. They may not perform like the uh, foam posits or the the Kyries, but they're good enough. If, if you're in high school or a competitive basketball league, you can still wear these. Even though they're not too expensive, they still do well with ankle support and they have a, a compo fit ankle support feature and you'll feel you'll feel good your ankles won't roll or anything they're also very lightweight and breathable um, so you'll feel quick with them so this is good if your game relies heavily on speed being breathable is important too I mentioned that feature before but it, it just helps your your feet not sweat and it'll prevent you from getting blisters or Having stinky feet. And being breathable just helps with the overall comfort of this shoe too. It just makes it more enjoyable to wear. And uh, you'll appreciate it. Here are the rest of the basketball shoes. I already wrote a giant guide on all these basketball shoes. So uh, I didn't really think it was necessary to go over all of them in depth in this video. These shoes certainly are... Uh, any worse than the shoes I've already gone over like the KDs and the, the crazy explosives and the dames those are really good shoes that you'll definitely want to consider there's also some some other uh, more budget friendly shoes that I added for people that play in men's league or just wanted like a practice shoe or something like that here is the uh, entire basketball shoe guide that I have at sportproven.com You'll find an in-depth review of all the shoes mentioned in this video there. Uh, you'll also find an in-depth review of the shoes that I mentioned but didn't really go into too deeply. Also in this guide, I go over uh, everything you need to think about when choosing your basketball shoes, and I go over the most frequently asked questions regarding basketball shoes. And going even further, I scoured the internet and Amazon to find the best prices of these basketball shoes too. So if you're interested and you want to save a little cash, I uh, provided a link to the uh, to each basketball shoe. So definitely make sure to check out that post, and I'll leave a link in the description. You'll uh, you'll definitely like it. It's packed full of information, and it's got 
every basketball shoe you can think of. Thanks again for checking out this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll make sure to answer them. If you like the video, please like it and uh, make sure to check in back for more videos of uh, different sports gear. Have a good day.